morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is for today's I could see I'm trading. Today is January 28th, 2021. And today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. markets tumble yesterday after the Fed kept rate decisions and the interest rate at zero. OK, a massive kind of news that came out and did affect the markets. Now, looking at today, one economic event coming out of the United States, it's quarterly GDP numbers coming out at 3.30 South African time. Now, I wouldn't add so much weight to this number because there's so many other things going on in the market. So starting out with the Forex symbols, the US dollar gains versus the major pair. And that's really on the back of the fact that the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones both tumble. This looks like it's a bona fide market correction because when the dollar goes up, the indices go down. When the indices go down, the dollar goes up. Perfect inverse relationship. Now looking at commodities, gold trading at that bottom of the range, less inflationary issues pretended. And that's why gold is actually slowly just shedding off light. Oil unchanged. Now looking at stocks, yesterday we had Tesla, Microsoft, Apple, and Facebook coming out with earnings. Different results for each. We'll discuss each one of them. But quarterly earnings continue with MasterCard, also Colgate Palmolive tomorrow, and also Philip Morris, okay, which is a very, very big company. Okay, these are really the backbone of the market. So you really want to know uh, and keep an eye on what's going on in the markets. Okay, so this is really going to give us some direction. Bitcoin bounces off support. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. Okay, so we're going to first take a look at the Euro USD at a daily chart. Okay, and the reason I'm looking at a daily chart is because we're really at a multi time frame support level. Okay, this has been this 12074 has been several times that we're testing it. Now we're coming very close to it right now. So if we do breach it, this is something really to consider going into today's trading session. Now we're not there yet. Okay, we're, we're getting close there. We're now looking at a four hour chart. You could see that we're getting close there. But if we do breach it, it's something to consider. And looking at GBP USD, we mentioned this yesterday. It was flirting with this resistance -ish level, broke right through it, but continued to make itself a second resistant level. Okay, it's not going to give it to us straight away. Now, is it still an upwards trend? Yeah, it is. Okay, look at that. It's still beautifully trending upwards from 125 up to 136 since October. So this is really something to consider where we might see a correctional move here. Now we did breach the eight day moving average, but we're getting closer to the 30 day moving average. So something to consider going into today. The Rand got much weaker versus the dollar. 1533 as you could see here quite clear cut. Now jumping into the indices. Okay. I, I well before the indices let's just do gold. Gold trading at 1835. Again, this is not massive trading, okay? But if you do want to take advantage of trading just the range, this is particularly a situation where you can, especially since if we look at this, the volume has actually decreased as we get closer to the support level, okay? Which means that there's less real sellers here and anticipation that it's going to jump off of these levels. So something to consider going into the balance of the week. Now jumping into the indices. Okay, this is where it gets ugly. All right, now we're looking at a four hour chart of the Dow Jones. Look at this from last week to this week, we've shed off a thousand points. Okay, we were trading at 31,150 last week, and right now we're trading at 30,125. Unbelievable trading opportunities, several resistance ish level at this area. Uh, 31,300. I do expect us to bounce. Okay. At a certain point, we're going to bounce here. Okay. The question is, is how aggressively or is it not? Okay. Because you're going to have to really take a look at some of the stocks, namely the bank stocks, the conglomerates coming out with different numbers tomorrow. Now the markets is mixed. When I say the markets are missed, there are certain aspects of the markets that are still doing well because they'll always do well. People still need to eat food, right? Uh, but there's a certain part of the markets where it's the expansion part of the market so people are thinking twice about spending money. So this type of environment is actually creating this type of mixed messages in the market. Like Tesla missed its earnings report. Okay, um, Apple came in with well-expected reports yesterday. So you see that there's a divergence in the markets right now. Now looking at the NASDAQ, this got clobbered the hardest. Okay, this really got clobbered the hardest. Did the below 13,000. This is significant. Okay. Now going into the first quarter, second quarter of 
2021, we're still on a pandemic. We're still digesting this information as it's coming out. Okay, there is a new administration in the White House. So lots of things happening all at the same time. Now, looking at JP Morgan, this is where it gets ugly. Okay, JP Morgan continuously gapping down and selling off, gapping down and selling off. Now, we are at a level where we can capitulate, okay, especially to today, all right, because this was a significant resistance ish level. If we look at Alcoa just breaking down, okay, it did also yesterday look like it was going to bounce off of it. It didn't, okay, and then continued going down. Now, looking at Apple, we sold off, but we came back above 140. Okay, so there's a little bit of bouncing there. There's a little bit of life, excuse me, still left when we look at Apple. Lastly, looking at Microsoft. Okay, this is really important because this was the one that came out. This started the earnings season for us, and it did shut off from 239 down to 232. Now, it's not a massive sell-off, but it raises eyebrows at this stage, okay? Going into the second quarter, I think it's gonna be much clearer which way we're going. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, okay? Bouncing off of this 30,000, I did mention that yesterday, this was gonna be support, and sure enough, it did, and trading at 31,200 right now, as it's going to continue trading within a range, okay? Now, that range is still being developed, okay, for sure, we have a bottom range of 29,500-ish level and a top range of 31,500-ish level as well. So that is the area that we're looking at right now. Okay, we're closer to the top of the range. I wouldn't jump into this right away, but just realize that that is what's happening. Bitcoin is just finding itself with middle ground. Okay, really just finding itself in light of what's going to happen moving forward with the Treasury Secretary saying she's not a big fan of Bitcoin. So something to consider there as well. This is Fred Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.